जस्ट बुलाना चाहता हूँ स्टेज पर आज के हमारे शो के लास्ट स्पीकर तीनों स्पीकर पाल सिंह इंटरनेशनल पब्लिक स्पीकर लाइफ कोच एंटरप्रेनोर फाइनेंशियल प्रोफेशनल प्लीज कम ऑन स्टेज मेरी रिक्वेस्ट है एक बार जोरदार तालियों के साथ आप सभी लोग स्वागत करेंगे सिंह And I just like to tell you a little story about myself, about my mother and my father. Uh, I don't have any slides to show. <laughs> so um, first, first of all, I like to thank my Lord, my Wahi Guru, uh, whom I pray every day. And I like to thank Mr. Sherry and Kara. <laughs> I met them uh, a few weeks ago, and to meet them, and I'm great. They offered me this platform to speak. So uh, in 2018, I start business. Uh, in uh, Indianapolis, Indiana, in USA, as a uh, um, word, real estate investor. So uh, me and my ex, we created a gas station business, and we have car washes, stuff like that, you know. So it was great. After 20 plus years, we got divorced. In 22 plus <coughs> years of my life, of marriage life, I filed divorce four times. And I got separated three times, and I thought that I'm going to keep up with my marriage because you know always it's uh, we look at the woman, uh, the woman who keep the family together, you know. So I tried and tried, and one day uh, I just realized that it's, uh, I don't think I can do it anymore because I was going through depression and anxiety. Uh, that's why I become a life coach because I want to counsel and. Uh, Provide therapy to people who need a help, you know. So I didn't have anybody at that time. My father uh, got sick. My rest of the family in Canada. I'm the only one in the U.S. We are five sisters. So my father passed away from lung cancer, uh, which was pretty sad. Uh, I still miss him. And so uh, the gas station business was like still booming, and I left him everything because I'm 2020. One, I came to India with my mother. My mother came here uh, for the wedding of uh, my niece. She got sick, um, she got a brain hemorrhage, she had a stroke, and she uh, find, uh, later find out that she went in coma. So I flew from US and here to you know, take care of her because the hospital we kept her in, they said that she won't be able to make it. If you want, you can take her home, but there's nothing we can do, you know. So we are, three of my sisters live in uh, Vancouver, Canada, and I live in uh, US, like I told you. So for me, it was a challenge because my mother was like totally on bad, bad rest. So I have to take back her to Canada. I didn't know how to do it. So I tried to get a hold of United Airlines, Air India, <coughs> And they all say no because the patient is on bed rest, so she has to be a wheelchair patient if you want to you know, fly her out of. <coughs> so what I did, I took her <coughs> to her hometown. I take care of her for two and a half months. I was the only one who was taking care of her because my other sisters, we took turns, you know, one after the other, come fly to India every other month to take care of her. So. Finally, they decided they gave up because they have a family, they have kids. I also had a family and, you know, kids, but I love my mom. So, you know, your parents are very important for you. And it's in our culture. It's our, you know, it's, our, it's in our blood. Indian culture is a very strong, colorful. So, when I was challenging with my mom to fly, how I can fly her out to India, uh, from India to uh, Canada, so I met the... I think he was the CEO of Air India. I spoke with him, I told him about the situation. He said, ma'am, we have some rules and regulations, some protocols to follow. If she'd be able to sit on the wheelchair, you're happy to find her out. So I took two and three months, two and a half, uh, two and a half months to take care of her, took her to her village, take care of her by, his, by myself, you know. So I provide her therapy, I try to massage her, you know, talk to her, you know, bond to her, pray for her. Finally, she starts speaking one word or the other. If I ask her, Mama, 
Ja, Finia. She said, Finia. If I say, Mom, you want to eat something? She said, I'm fine. So she came out of coma. She starts speaking little by little, just a few words here and there, you know. So finally, um, we were able to fly her out to Canada because she was become a you know, wheelchair patient. So the struggle I went through, it was a lot because at the same time, I was going through divorce. And when I was taking care of her mom in India, uh, my lawyer called me and she said, hey pal, you gotta fly back here if you wanna get a divorce because he's not giving up. Because you know, when money's involved, business involved, you got a lot to lose. So what I did, I was struggling so much emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually. So I told him that, I was like, you know what, just have him sign the papers. I don't want anything. And I left him a business, I left him car washes, I left him leash going home, I left him sports cars, and I lost everything. And six weeks later, when I took my mom to Canada, I lost her as well. So what I'm trying to say here is that, like, um, uh, the lady before me, I forgot her name, like she said, she liked to counsel and hurt other people. So that's what I do. I, I counsel people, I, I do therapies for them, and I just don't like act like I'm a therapist or I'm a counselor. I talk to them like uh, I'm their family member, so they can open up to me more, you know? So the bottom of the story is that I struggled through a lot and last two years. I lost my kids, I lost the business, I lost everything. You know? Even I lost my mom. The mom, my mom, who was a pillar of my life, who was my strength. So what I learned through the journey last two years is that my mom used to say that always pray for your health. Health is very important. You know why? Because if you can take care of yourself, yourself, you cannot take care of anybody, you know? Like, you know how when you fly out, if you're flying, like, if you fly anywhere, you know how they say in the flights, like, hey, put your oxygen mask first if you want to save other people, you know? So that's what I'm trying to say here, that save yourself first. If you pray, pray for yourself first, because if you're healthy, you can take, up, take care of other people, you can take care of family and friends and your loved ones. So, um, uh, from my story, what you're going to get here is that never give up in your life, regardless what your situation is, where you at in your life, because you can do better than anybody, because it's your life, it's you, and you have to live for yourself. We, as a parent, uh, like as Indian, what do we do? We live for our kids, then we live for our family, like our parents, but we never think about ourselves. You know, who we are as a person, who we are as a human, who we are as a, you know, the God who created you, who you are as a soul. So, human find what we find here, when we, when we take a birth, when we look for three things, you know, three things. One, to find ourselves. Number two, a peace. Number three, God. Which we, there are so many gods in India. And there's only one God, but there are you know, the, so many paths to go to the one destination. So stay healthy, take care of yourself, and always believe in yourself. Uh, two, words, uh, two lines I like to say. The one is, without commitment, you never start. Without consistency, you never finish. So you do need a commitment and a Thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. It was a lot of fun. Thank you so much.